until we come to you for suggestions. And with those suggestions, we will create instant theater right off the tops of our heads. This show being the first show of the night, we also do some written material, but the rest of the night is virtually all improvisation. So come back if you get a chance. And every show is completely different. It's spooky. We'll get the show started in just a second. First, I need to make a quick phone call, and we will get to it.
And if they win money, we pay them. If they lose money, they pay us. But of course, the odds are with us. And that's how the whole pizza making system works. <laughs> so, do you want to slice a casino? Sure. All right. You go. Maybe I'm just stupid, but I still don't completely get this. I know you just explained it to me. Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe I'm a camel. <laughs> so many cigarettes <laughs> that the tar has cut the blood supply to my brain stem and I just don't get it. It's very easy. You see, the public... I'm here to my bag! <laughs> okay, okay, now the way I understand it is that I'm betting against the house, yes, which is you. Exactly. Okay. I, I, I'll be looking in a second. I just want to make sure he gets it. Okay! Because of the 
spend these, we would like to remind you Walt Disney World is a multi-billion dollar corporation. <laughs> and we proudly present these Comedy Warehouse buttons by golly, they're both worth about a nickel. There we go. <laughs> Say 
That's what I get for marrying a postal worker.
Romans who the call. What? No. Romans. 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 Yeah. So far so good. So far so good. <laughs> Romans. The next one's all right. Hudik. Hudik. <laughs>
she'll be pushing them up. <laughs> I, I don't know about this, Lorraine. I, I don't know if I can dig in the dirt where Mom rests. You could never do anything for her while she was alive. <laughs> I didn't expect you to do anything for her while she was dead. Oh, you're going to bring this up again, aren't you? The fact that I went out into the world and tried to make it, and I failed miserably. Action adventure! I'm not going to let you get away with it, Lord Lady. I got a petunia, and I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs>
improvisation going, I need you to think about it. Like, you're home late at night, and you turn the television on. There's a talk show on. You've never seen this talk show before, but they are talking about the most mundane thing you have ever seen. And you just get hooked into it because you're thinking, how in the world could they be talking about red paint or, or um, you know, toe jam, anything? But what is the subject maybe that you think is really mundane or something that maybe you've always had lots of questions about? Somebody shout one out. I'm sorry, what was this? Cornbread. 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 You know, it is amazing, sir, that you would say cornbread. Because um, <laughs> we happen to have three of the world's foremost authorities on cornbread here with us today on your favorite talk show and mine. Please throw it toward the 
stage, I could use some. <laughs>
Okay, so I'm just going to recap it so everyone can hear. You were um, you were in in front of a large group. You were supposed to do something in front of them. The guy in front of you did ten push-ups. After he was done, you said, "I can't do ten push-ups." Please don't ask me to do ten push-ups. He said, "No, I won't." So I had to fake an orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> what? Third story. <laughs> it was up on the 